All right. So today we're diving into something that I think a lot of people find really exciting. Hmm? Uh, prepping for a Netflix interview. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're going to be looking at a YouTube video by interview expert Joshua Brown. Okay. And kind of seeing what are some of the tips and tricks he has to help you stand out. Yeah. This video, I think, is really helpful. Yeah. It breaks down a lot of these questions you might get mm -hmm. and how to make a really strong impression. Yeah. But I think what we're going to do today is go a little bit deeper and look at kind of the why behind the advice. Totally. You know yeah. Because I mean? it's not just about having the right answers. Right. It's about understanding, like, what they're truly looking for in a candidate. Yeah, exactly. It's like decoding their language a little bit. Yes. Um. So let's start with that classic opener. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Ooh, yeah. Like, how do you tackle that one? Right. So the video suggests that you should actually use keywords from the job description in your answer. Like, if they're looking for strong communication skills, you should literally say the word communication. Hmm. It seems almost too simple. Yeah. But is that really kind of the trick? I think it is about demonstrating that you've done your research. You understand their needs. Mm -hmm. You know, the example answered in the video even goes as far as saying adding value to Netflix. Oh, wow. It's like strategic word choice. So you're not just listing skills. You're speaking directly to their priorities. Precisely. Okay. And it goes beyond just general skills, too. Okay. You know, if you look at the example answer for like a software engineer, mm -hmm. It's packed with industry buzzwords, yeah. like mm -hmm. high quality, scalable solutions. Buzzwords sometimes get a bad rap, but here it seems like they're key. I think uh, So I think of it this way. Huh. Netflix is known for its cutting edge technology and massive user base. Mm -hmm. So using these buzzwords signals that you understand that landscape. Oh. It's like a secret handshake yeah. for the tech folks out there. Gotcha. So you've kind of convinced them you're speaking the same language. Right. Now, how do you tackle the question? Okay. Why do you want to work at Netflix? Ooh, that's a tough one. This one always feels tricky to me because it's like, yeah. how do you go beyond just saying you like their shows? Right. You can't just be like, oh, I love Stranger Things. Yeah, exactly. So the video emphasizes aligning your values with Netflix's company culture. Oh, okay. Which makes sense in theory, mm -hmm. but it's not always obvious how to do that authentically. Right, because you can't just parrot their mission statement. Right. So how do you make it genuine? So the sample answer highlights things like innovative culture, diversity and inclusion, exceeding user expectations. Okay. Notice how these all tie back to Netflix's public image. Mm-hmm to their core values as a company. Yeah. It's like you're showing you've done more than just watch their content. Right. You've thought about what they stand for. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think that level of understanding goes a long way. For sure. Okay, so you've shown them why you're drawn to Netflix. Right. But what about convincing them you have what it takes? <laughs> that question, what can you bring to this role? Yes. That's where you really have to sell yourself right. Absolutely. And the video suggests highlighting a blend of technical expertise, okay, creativity, and user-centric design. Okay, that's a tall order. It is. It's like they're looking for a unicorn employee. Right. Is this realistic or more of just like an aspirational ideal? It's aspirational, but I think it highlights the multifaceted skill set that Netflix values. Okay. So the example answer talks about a proven track record, mm -hmm. adaptability and experience with cutting edge technology. All those buzzwords again. Sprinkled right in. So you're demonstrating you can wear multiple hats and still be on the cutting edge. Exactly. It's about showing them you can contribute on multiple levels. Okay. Now let's get into, I think, what are the most nerve wracking questions? Okay. Those, tell me about a time. <laughs> Scenarios. Ugh, yes, the dreaded behavioral questions. Uh, right. So the video recommends using the STAR method. Okay. Which makes sense for like structuring your response, mm -hmm. but how do you tailor that to Netflix specifically? Right. So let's take the example of, okay. tell me about a time you had to make a decision without all the information you needed. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Right. So the sample answer focuses on market demand, phase rollout plan, and a feedback loop with early adopters. Okay. I see where you're going with this. Yeah. These are all very Netflix-y concepts. Yes. So even when you're talking about a past experience, you're aligning it with their way of doing things. Exactly. Right. Market demand speaks to their focus on data. Uh -huh. Phase rollout and feedback loop reflect their agile. Wait, hold on. You just used the term agile. I did. For someone who maybe isn't like super familiar with software development, yeah. can you just break down what that means in this context? Of course. Agile is essentially a project management style okay. that prioritizes 
flexibility, rapid iteration, and incorporating feedback along the way. Which makes perfect sense for a company like Netflix okay. that's constantly innovating and releasing new content. Exactly. Gotcha. So even when you're answering these seemingly generic questions, yeah. you can subtly weave in these elements of Netflix's DNA. Exactly. Very smart. Okay, last one for this section. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh. This always feels like a trap. Yeah. Do they really want to hear, I see myself at Netflix in five years? They absolutely want to hear you're thinking long term. Okay. But it's more nuanced than that. Okay. The video stresses aligning your goals with Netflix's future. Gotcha. So the sample answer talks about becoming a key contributor, mm -hmm. taking on leadership, mm -hmm. and driving groundbreaking innovations. So it's ambitious, but still focused on contributing to Netflix's success. Precisely. It's not just like your own personal career ladder. Yeah, you're demonstrating you see yourself growing with the company. Okay, this is all super helpful. Now, the video also lists a bunch of other questions to prepare for. Mm. But it seems like there's a common thread running through all of them, right? Absolutely. But, uh, Whether it's about using data to solve a problem mm -hmm. or describing a time you collaborated effectively. Yeah. It all comes back to demonstrating a deep understanding of Netflix's values, mm -hmm. their working style, almost like. Like you're not just applying for a job. Yeah. Or trying to join their tribe. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. So researching the company and its culture mm -hmm. is just as important as prepping for specific questions. Because understanding that culture will inform how you answer any question right. in a way that resonates with Netflix. Exactly. And that's where those 25 sample answers in the video's PDF come in. Right. Mm. These examples really bring those strategies to life. And we'll dive into those after a quick break. Stay tuned. All right, we're back and ready to unpack those 25 sample answers from Joshua Brown's video. Yeah, let's do it. I think these examples are super helpful because they really showcase how to actually put those Netflix interview strategies into action. Yeah, they're like a master class in tailoring your responses. Totally. Um, let's start with one that I think often trips people up. Okay. What do you know about Netflix's culture? Hmm. Seems straightforward. Right. But there's a lot riding on how you answer that. Why? Because it's not just about like reciting facts. It's about showing you get it. Exactly. Yeah. Like you understand the soul of the company. And the sample answer in the PDF, I think, nails this. Okay. It mentions Netflix's famous culture deck. Ah, yes. The legendary culture deck. Which is basically their manifesto on values and principles. I've heard it's become like a Bible for some companies. It has. Wow. And the sample answer doesn't just name drop it. Okay. It goes on to highlight key elements like freedom and responsibility, high performance, and context, not control. So you're showing you've actually like digested the culture deck, that right. you understand its core tenet. Right. It's about demonstrating you've thought about how these principles would apply to your work at Netflix. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, another question that I think can be kind of tricky is... Okay. What are you looking for in your next position? Oh, yeah. How do we answer that in a way that aligns with what Netflix offers? So the sample answer here, I think, is brilliant. Okay. It talks about seeking a challenging and dynamic environment. Mm -hmm. Opportunities for growth and learning. Okay. And a culture that values innovation what? and impact. It's like you're describing Netflix without actually saying Netflix. Exactly. Like that. And by framing your personal aspirations yeah. in a way that mirrors their values, mm -hmm. you're subtly signaling that you're a good fit. Okay, let's talk about teamwork. Okay. There's a question in here about like what teamwork means to you. Yeah. Seems simple enough, but I'm guessing Netflix wants to hear more than just I'm a team player. For sure. You need to go beyond generic statements. Right. And right. demonstrate what teamwork looks like at Netflix. Yeah. Okay. The sample answer does this well. Okay. It talks about collaboration, open communication and shared responsibility. Okay. And it also mentions respecting di diverse perspectives. Yes. Which ties back to that emphasis on inclusion that yeah. we talked about earlier. Exactly. It's all about weaving those cultural elements into your responses. Okay. I'm curious about this one. How do you stay current with advancements in technology and practices? Mm. This feels like it could apply to so many roles, not just technical ones. It's a universal question. Yeah. But I think the way you answer it should reflect Netflix's focus on innovation. Okay. So the sample answer mentions things like 
following industry blogs and publications mm -hmm. and thing conferences and workshops okay and even experimenting with new tools and technology so you're not just staying informed you're actively seeking out the cutting edge exactly and i think that demonstrates a proactive approach to learning mm -hmm. which is a key part of netflix's culture now the pdf also includes some questions that are more leadership focused like right. What steps do you take to motivate your team? Mm -hmm. Is this even relevant if you're not applying for like a management role? That's a good question. Yeah. And I think the answer is yes. Okay. Even individual contributors at Netflix are expected to demonstrate leadership qualities. Interesting. So the sample answer emphasizes things like empowerment, clear communication, uh -huh. and creating a positive and supportive work environment. Mm -hmm. It also mentions celebrating successes which aligns with Netflix's culture of recognizing achievements. So regardless of the role you're showing, you can lead and inspire others right. in a way that aligns with their values. Precisely. It's about demonstrating you can create a thriving team environment mm -hmm. even without formal authority. Okay, there's a question in here that feels like a real test of whether you get Netflix. Oh, okay. What did you resonate most with from the Netflix culture memo? Uh, that's a good one. It's like This one is all about showing... You've gone beyond surface level research mm -hmm. and grappled with the core of what makes Netflix unique. So what does the sample answer highlight? It focuses on the concept of freedom and responsibility, okay. which is arguably the foundation of Netflix's culture. Mm -hmm. It talks about how this principle empowers employees to make decisions and take ownership of their work. That makes sense. It's about trusting people to do their best work, right. which seems to be at the heart of their approach. Exactly. So by highlighting this specific principle, you're demonstrating a deeper understanding of the why yeah. behind Netflix's way of doing things. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's shift gears a bit and talk about something yeah. that can be tricky to navigate in any interview, not just at Netflix. Right. Conflicting opinions. Uh, yes. You know, how do you... That classic question. Yeah. How do you deal with conflicting opinions in the workplace? It's all about showing you can handle disagreements. Right. Constructively and respectfully. So the sample answer in the PDF does a good job of this. Yeah. It talks about active listening, seeking to understand different perspectives, and finding common ground. Mm -hmm. And it also emphasizes respectful communication. Yes which is crucial in a company that values diversity of thought. It's not about avoiding conflict. Right. It's about approaching it yeah. in a way that's productive and inclusive. And that aligns perfectly with Netflix's emphasis on open communication yeah. and healthy debate. Okay, here's one that always makes me stumble. Okay. What is your motivation for changing jobs at this time? Uh, yeah. How do you answer that? It's so tough right. without bad-mouthing your current employer. Yeah. Or sounding desperate for a new job. It's a delicate balance. It is. The sample answer focuses on framing it in terms of growth and new challenges. Okay. It talks about seeking opportunities to learn and grow, mm -hmm. a chance to work on innovative projects, okay. and a culture that aligns with my values. So it's not about what you're running from. It's about what you're moving towards. Precisely. Yeah. And by focusing on your aspirations. Yeah. You can avoid sounding negative about your current situation. Okay. Now, the PDF also dives into some more practical questions. Okay. Like salary expectations. Ah, uh, yes. Any tips on how to handle that conversation gracefully? The sample answer suggests doing your research okay. to understand the market rate for the role. Mm -hmm. It also emphasizes being open to discussing a compensation package that reflects my experience and contributions. So it's about knowing your worth, Yeah. but also being flexible and open to negotiation. Right. And by framing it in terms of your contributions, mm -hmm. you're showing you're focused on bringing value to Netflix. OK, let, let's talk about one more question from the PDF Go that ahead. I think is particularly insightful. OK. If successful, what do you think will be your biggest challenge? Ah, uh, yes. This one is designed to gauge your self-awareness mm -hmm. and problem solving skills. So how do you answer something like that? The sample answer in the PDF, I think, tackles this head on. OK. It talks about the challenge of adapting to Netflix's fast-paced and ever-evolving environment. Which is a very real thing. Yep. <laughs> Netflix is known for its constant innovation and yep. pushing boundaries. Exactly. And the answer goes on to talk about how the candidate plans to overcome this challenge okay. by being a quick learner, yeah. embracing change, and seeking out opportunities to grow. So even when acknowledging a potential difficulty... Yeah. 
you're still highlighting positive qualities uh, and a growth mindset. Precisely. It's about turning a potential weakness into an opportunity yeah. to showcase your resilience and adaptability. Now, before we wrap up our deep dive into these sample answers, I feel like we've covered so much. We have. But I'm curious, is there anything else we can glean from these sample answers or just from Joshua Brown's approach in general mm -hmm. that maybe isn't explicitly stated? Oh, you're thinking like a true deep diver. I try. Um, what's fascinating to me is that even though these answers are tailored for Netflix, mm -hmm. the underlying principles yeah. are universally applicable. Right. You know, showing genuine interest, mm -hmm. aligning with the company's values, yeah. demonstrating a growth mindset. Yeah. These are things that will make you a strong candidate anywhere. That's such a good point. Right. So even if someone isn't prepping for a Netflix interview, mm -hmm. they can still walk away from this deep dive well, with some valuable insights. Absolutely. But since we are focused on Netflix, okay, let's take it one step further. Okay. Think about this. How could you leverage mm. Netflix's data-driven approach okay. to identify a problem or opportunity they might not even be aware of yet? Ooh, that's a good one. Right. It's not just about fitting in. Right. It's about showing you can bring something new to the table. Exactly. And yeah. that kind of thinking yeah. demonstrates initiative insight mm -hmm. and a deep understanding of how Netflix operates. For sure. That's what truly sets a candidate apart. Yeah. So much great advice in this deep dive. I think so, too. I feel like we really cracked the code we did. on the Netflix interview process. We cracked it wide open. So, listener, you got this. You got this. Do your research. Yes. Showcase your passion. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid to think outside the box. And if you want even more guidance, be sure to check out Joshua Brown's full YouTube video and download that PDF with the 25 sample answers. Yes, we'll link to that in the show notes. Good luck with your Netflix interview. We're cheering you on.